Hi guys, welcome back to ABLC Studio. This crochet hat is one of my favorite granny square patterns. I find it really cute and easy to style. The process of making this piece is very enjoyable, so I hope you like the video and have fun with your project. Even though this is a beginner tutorial, you'll first need to know how to double crochet. In case you don't know how to double crochet yet, Please check out my recommendation in the description. For this pattern, we will need 5 stitch markers or bobby pins, then of course your needle and scissors. The hook size and yarn weight will depend on the size of the hat you want to make, so please use the charge that I will give you to choose the right tools and material. So this is a little note about the pattern size grade. These are the squares of three different sizes, small, medium, and large. And as you can see, the scales are not that significantly different from each other. In fact, they are about a quarter inch away from each other. However, for a hat, we will need five square. So a quarter multiplied five would be one inch and a quarter, and that's the difference between the sizes. So size small would be one inch and a quarter smaller than the medium and the medium would be one inch and a quarter smaller than the large hat. So to mark the differences between the hat size, you will need to combine the measurement of five squares, not one single square, okay? For this pattern, we will need our granny squares to be four rounds. One, two, three, four, and for each hat, we will need five of these squares. In case you haven't known how to crochet a single square yet, please go to my Crochet Granny Square in depth tutorial. It's a very detailed tutorial, and you'll learn to make this exact same square. Here, I made four squares, and I need one more, so I will do it real quick before showing you the next steps. So the top of a hat is basically a pentagon and the process of making a pentagon it's not that different from how we crochet our granny square so once you get used to crocheting your granny square this pentagon it's really easy of course we're gonna start with a slip knot for our granny square we made a chain ring with four chain but for our pentagon we will make five chain so one two, three, four, and five. And now we will join this chain into a ring by slip stitch into this first chain. And remember to take two loops of the chain, okay? Draw our loop and draw that loop through the loop on your hook. Okay, this is our chain ring with five chain. Now you're gonna chain two, one, two, and then we're gonna work Two double crochet into this chain ring, okay? So, one, two, and as you can see here, we have one group of three double crochet. So, if you remember, for a granny square, the first round we will need four of these three double crochet groups. But because the pentagon have five sides, we will need five of these double crochet groups. Now, moving on, we will need chain two to create a corner and then work three double crochet again into the ring another group of three double crochet now chain two again and work another three double crochet into the ring We have four groups of three double crochet. Now we need one more. So you chain two and you work three double crochet. And 
to finish the round, we chain two, slip stitch into our second chain of the chain two at the first place. So one, two, this second chain, slip stitch, chain one to bind off and cut. Leave a little bit of a tail. And this is our first row of the pentagon. Now moving on to the new color. And as I told you before, it's pretty much the same as how we did our granny square. You insert your hook into the same place where you tied your new yarn, draw our loop and chain two, and then work two double crochet into the same place. And now you're gonna need a chain one. Then in this corner, which is the chain two space, we're gonna work three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. So three double crochet, Now chain two, three double crochet. Now moving on, chain one, and do the same to this corner. Three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. Alright, you can see that I have finished this corner with 3 double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet. Now, you see it's very similar with our crochet granny square. You chain 1 and then work 3 double crochet in this last space. And of course we're gonna chain 2 and slip stitch to join the round chain one and cut to bind off this is our second round of the pentagon and let's move on to the third round Alright, now again, it is very similar with our crochet granny square. We will need a chain two and then two double crochet in the same place. Now you can already tell that before we move on to the next space, we will chain one and work a group of three double crochet in the chain one space. Then chain one, work three double crochet chain two and three double crochet in the corner and repeat the same process until the end. Let's do it. We chain one, work three double crochet in the chain one space. Chain one again. And in the corner, of course, we need three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet. Alright, now chain one and repeat the same process until the end of this round and I will meet you all right at the end, okay? Alright, here you can see that I have this one chain one space. So I'm gonna chain one and work three double crochet in there. One, two, and three. All right, now chain one and finish this round with three double crochet in this corner. And then we need a chain two. Then slip stitch into the second chain to finish the round. Then chain one to bind off.
All right, this is a pentagon with three rounds. Now, this will be our last round. We start with the same thing. Draw our loop, chain two, work two double crochet. Now chain one, three double crochet in this chain one space. And chain one, and three double crochet in this chain one space again. And then of course chain one and for the corner three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet. And the process will be just the same, so I will meet you at the end of this last round, okay? And you can see that I'm at the end of this last round. I chain one and finish my round as normal with three double crochet chain two slip stitch to join the round and chain one to bind off now let's trim all this tail off And that is how we made the pentagon for the top of the hat. Now that we have all the pieces, let's patch them together. S starting with two squares, we're gonna use the visible join to patch the pieces together. Now we're gonna patch all these five squares together into a stripe like this with the same technique that we did with this two square okay and I will meet you when I finish patching this five squares together once you join all five square into a stripe like this we will join them together into the round remember to put the wrong size together and repeat the exact same process. Alright, this is how it should look like and now I will show you how to join this top of the hat together with this piece that we just did, okay? In the video that I show you the technique of joining the squares together, I already explained about the anatomy of the stitches on a side square and it is exactly the same with a side of the pentagon. You can see here we have the corner group of three double crochet, chain one, group of three double crochet, chain one, group of three double crochet, chain one, group of three double crochet, and one of the chain belong to each of the sign. Once you understand that, it should be very easy to join these things together. Let's start with joining this side with this side, okay? We start at one of the chain in the corner, take the outer loop of the V, like so, here, one of the chain in the chain two, we already use it to join these two squares together. And obviously, we're gonna take this chain, again, the outer loop, and pull our new yarn in, tight, and yeah, insert a hook in the same place, draw our loop, chain one, and we're gonna use single crochet to join these two sides together. 
stitch by stitch. So this first double crochet of this group, take the outer loop of the V on top of it, this one, right? And the same on the side of the square, the first double crochet, the outer loop of the V, all right? Moving on. And then this last double crochet of the first group, this one, and this one, all right? And then the chain one, take the outer loop only, single crochet, and you see that it's very similar. We will repeat the same process until we get here and I will meet you right here to show you our next move, okay? Okay, now I'm at the end of this side of the pentagon. You can see that I have two double crochet of this last group before I reach to the corner. I will finish that by joining them with the stitch in the same position of the square. One of the chain of the chain two, we take it, join with the chain of this square, which is this one. And we're gonna move on to the next square, okay? Join this side of the pentagon with this square, all right? So we're gonna take the next chain of this corner, this one, the outer loop, and join it with this chain on the corner of this square with a single crochet. Now moving on, we do the same thing. We join the stitches in the same position. The first double crochet of the first group, single crochet, the second double crochet, the middle one of that group, and the last one, last double crochet of that first group, you see? Now the chain one, between the groups the process will be just the same you already know how to do the side and what to do in where you get to the corner of the pentagon and you're gonna repeat the same thing all the way until the end of this pentagon and I'll meet you right here to show you our next move Alright, you can see that I'm closer to the end. I have a group of three double crochet left. So I'm gonna do that. Join them together. This last double crochet of the last group. Finish with the chain in the corner. From both pieces, alright? Now, to finish, you're gonna insert your hook into this first single crochet stitch, okay? You see this one? Insert your hook there, draw our loop, draw that loop through the loop on your hook, that's a slip stitch, and chain one to bind off. And that's it. Here is how everything should look like by now. You can pull all these tails into the wrong side of the piece. Now moving on, I will show you how to do the brim of the hat. And this is the part you will need your stitch markers. And we're gonna use stitch marker and mark this middle chain one space on each square. So here you can see the corner, this two chain one space, and this one in the middle. So you mark that one, and the same on the other square, the same on this square, 
all five square, okay? We're gonna insert our yarn in any corner of any square. It doesn't have to be any specific one, so I will insert my yarn here. Now we're gonna chain two and work two double crochet into this same place. One, two. All right, now before we move on to this next space, we have right here, the corner right next to it, we're gonna chain one and work three double crochet into this space, okay? And moving on, you need a chain one before you move on to the next space. Again, we're gonna work three double crochet into this next chain one space. Three double crochet. Now you see that our next space is marked with this stitch marker. And what are we going to do with it? First, don't forget to chain one. And in this marked space, we're going to work two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. So, two double crochet, chain one, you can put this out already so that it's easy. Two double crochet, chain one, and again, two double crochet. Now we're gonna repeat the pretty much same thing. Chain one, three double crochet in this chain one space. Chain one again, and work three double crochet into this corner you see right here. Right next to it, you will see the corner of the next square. So we do the same thing. We chain one and work three double crochet in that corner. All right, now chain one again, three double crochet into this chain one space. You see your mark space and you can take it out so that it's easier. Chain one and in this mark space we work two double crochet. Chain one and two double crochet. All right, now moving on, chain one and three double crochet again in each space. And we're gonna do the same thing. It's gonna be exactly the same until the end of this round. I'll meet you right there, okay? Now, as you can see here, I'm at the end of this round and I have this one last mark space. Here I work three double crochet so I need to chain one first and then work my mark space with two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, chain one, three double crochet in this chain one space in this last space, chain one, and we're gonna join this round with a slip stitch. You're gonna insert your hook into this second chain and slip stitch to join the round, chain one to bind off. All right, now before we move on to the second round of the brim of our hat, Let's again use this stitch marker to mark five special space. So now it's not gonna be the middle of the square anymore. You're gonna mark the space that it's right 
in the same place with this um, joint okay you see this invisible joint between the square you're gonna you want to mark this space okay so here and it's the same here and all five space and this one okay let's find where we bind off the last tail okay so here it is take your new yarn and insert it in the same place you insert your hook and draw our loop chain 2 and work two more double crochet in this same place now we'll see right away that our next space would be this mark space so again in the, the mark space we will work two double crochet a chain one and two double crochet All right, just the same as we did before. We're gonna do the same thing with this two chain one space, but remember that we create the new chain one space here, right here. Two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. And we will have to work a group of three double crochet in there. We treat it just as the same as the other chain one space, okay? So first let's chain one and work three double crochet in this Now chain one, three double crochet again in this chain one space. Now you see here is our special chain one space. We chain one and work three double crochet in that space. The process will be pretty much the same until the end of this round. There's nothing new, so I meet you right in the end of this round. But be mindful when you get to the special chain one space. You need to work three double crochet in this one, and also need to create another special chain one space when you get to the mark space. that I'm at the end of this round I have this special chain one space to work my three double crochet in and then this last chain one space chain one work three double crochet in there and then again to join the round we chain one slip stitch into the second chain and bind off now moving on to the last round of our brim we won't need to create the special chain one space anymore so we won't need this stitch marker anymore, okay? You can put them away. Now attach our yarn. We're gonna need a chain two and two double crochet in that same place. Now from here to the end of this last round, the process will be exactly the same. We're just gonna work three double crochet into each of this chain one space. Chain one, work my three double crochet, the last three double crochet group. And chain one, 
again slip stitch into the second chain to join the round chain one and bind off just like that we are done you can stretch the piece all out to reshape it so that everything look more nice and neat and that's it we have only one last things to do and that it's weaving all our ends in and our piece will be nice and perfect and to weave our ends in you're gonna need to use your yarn needle and you're just going to put one of the tail into the needle and weave it into the stitches it always good to not weave your tails in one straight line you want to go back and forth um, go here and there right to left here I'm just gonna move it back one more time and then I can cut it and you're just gonna repeat that to all the tails sometime with two tails that right next to each other like this I can just tie them together and treat them as one tail by putting it both into my needle and weave them in any place that I feel like it's gonna be nice and secure That's it.